Good day, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. E4900 update time. This one, Samba file sharing. And I'm going to be upfront and honest. I stuffed up. It's my fault. I wasn't watching what I was doing and I made the mistake. Okay. So it was either Thursday or Friday's live stream conversations. I mentioned that I was having trouble with Samba not showing up the total capacity of whether it was SD0 or SD1. And um, there was some uh, ideas thrown around as to what the problem was. Well, the actual problem was my fault. Let's go to the easiest OS to configure, Windows Server. Now, in Windows Server, when you set up file sharing, regardless of whether you're running a PDC TLD or you're running just a file server in a work group scenario, Okay, you can enable quotas on the shared drive resource. For example, let's say your public available share to the workstations is 500 gig. Open brackets, Windows will only see it as 465 gig, close brackets. To avoid hitting what I call the 10 percentile mark, so 500 gig, 50 gig, you can actually quota the drive so that the workstation only sees 420 gig, for example. Meaning you avoid that 10% element mark. So, meaning, according to the Windows workstation, the drive may be 500 gig, open brackets, 465 gig, close brackets, but the workstation sees it as only 420 gig. And again, you avoid that 10 percentile total capacity um, safety marker, as I call it. So you can set that up. And it doesn't matter whether you do it under NFS, SMB, CIFS, as well as DFS. All good. Okay. No worries. Great idea. If you set Samba up in, say, CLI mode by editing, you know, in my case, slash ETC um, slash S. Uh, Samba slash SMB.C on F, you avoid it. Okay, this is where I stuffed up royally. And it is it, it is purely my fault because I was not concentrating on what I was doing. As you know, I use Webmin to configure domain A. So if I've got to change Samba configs, Apache configs, I've got to edit DACP ranges or whatever, I'm using Webmin. What I forgot got was that Webmin by default enables this quota at X gigabyte. What I should have said was don't enable quotas, show whole drive. Yes, you can give me the medal for having a rookie mistake. Okay, so what I did was this morning, I downloaded Samba, installed it, went into Webmin, set up the C SMB.CONF configuration file through Samba's file system, uh, Webmin's Samba configuration system, and I went to share the home drive, specifically root and user. No problem. Okay, all good. And as I'm going through the setup, I notice disk quota. on by default. Now, when you're an IT tech and you see something like that, you, you tend to end up having a big bright light bulb moment and realizing, oh, that's what I mucked up. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I buggered it, it's my fault. I, didn't, I did not notice what I'd done wrong. Let me show you where I made the rookie mistake. All right, so let me show you what I mucked up. Here we are in our beautiful OpenBSD 6.2 powered E4900 Sun Microsystems server. As you can see, I've just rebooted it. And I'm going to show you what I mucked up. And it is, it's, it's, it's just my fault. 
Windows networking. If you have it just sitting over here by default, it will give it as free space of one gig. If you have it sitting as unlimited, so you see here, maximum reported disk size. Okay, you see this? This is where Backyard IT made his rookie error. So as you can see here, if we go back to the dashboard, I have 125 gig free. I have 125 gig free of 135 gig. This is P drive. which goes straight into my user home directory. Mm. It tends to be a good idea to make sure, and, and this is just a bit of advice for people um, using something like this to, to do it. When you get into your Windows networking, have it as unlimited, don't have it as that. It, that's just my fault. Totally my fault. So that's why it wasn't working. Now, what does this mean? Well, now it means that I can actually, when I launch SD1, which will be the 300 gig drive, right? that when I go into here, there will be a Samba share of so much free space of 300 gig rather than so much free space of one gig. It tends to be a smart idea to actually read the configuration file. So, um, just to bring you up to speed with what else I've now got set up on here. So I've got the new Apache, and you can see there the um, that's under httpd2.conf. We've got our DACP server. Oh, I haven't got the mail set up. I've always got the uh, Samba set. I'm actually updating the e server at the moment. Um, doing a PKG update. The SSH server, some of the other stuff here. I've got the Perl module um, there, um, which is obviously these two. Um, I've got the PHP configuration, which is pulled straight from um, the ETC folder. Networking, I haven't touched any of this yet. I've still got to do NFS for native to Mac and Linux. At the moment, Linux will do it under Samba, but I want it native to Linux. So I've got to set up the NFS. I haven't done cups, and I'm not doing cups. Clustering, I haven't done any of that yet. And I'm not going to worry about any of this in any way, shape, or form. Um, it's just not worth the hassle. Um, and then once I've got Samba sorted out, and once I've got um, everything else sorted out, then I will load test or stress test or whatever you want to call it the whole uh, network including the server to make sure it can hold up which is ideal but at this stage it is um, it is actually very happy now the other thing here that I just want to show you as well um, you can see here um, CPU load averages and HTOP is actually slightly updated faster than um, Webmin but uh, there it is there there's HTOP look at that 298 meg it's now using on cold but that's only because I've added Samba and all that but now that I've fixed the Samba issue I can actually set up the shared resources um, the only problem I've got is that um, I have completely and utterly and totally forgotten, and I admit this, on how to raid in a Spark, how to set up a raid, because I'm likely to actually raid up um, SD2 and SD3 uh, off the 3120. I think the Backyard IT mascot's on my chair at the moment. And he is too. My little kitten's rolling around on my feet, which does not surprise me. So the only other thing I'm going to do now is uh, I've got to do I've got to remember how to raid a Spark server. 
in OpenBSD because BioCTL does not work. It, it can't raid, so I need to try and remember how to do it. But there we go. Samba's all fixed. Server's up and running. Running like a dream. Nice and quick. And uh, I am extremely happy with it. There we go. Samba update. Stick around. More videos coming up today, as well as, don't forget, the 7 p.m. live stream tonight, 7 p.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Time, GMT UTC plus 11. We shall catch you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.